Hello, everybody, and welcome to the comic book burrito. And Hawkeye's got all these trick arrows, but I want to know, where's the burrito arrow? My name's Darren. <laughs> My name's Landon. And today we have a plethora of stuff for you. We have Marvel, we have DC, we got games, you name it, we got it. Let's talk. Landon, how have you been this it has week? been. This has been the probably one of the, one of the best weeks of my life because I mean you've got something pretty valuable. Oh yes, you know, I had to you know, I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, that was a Spider-Man yeah. reference. I did not beat an old lady with a stick. I did. Uh, I did. Uh, Lennon did. He he got, he got put in jail for about like a few days. <laughs> yep, that's why we can't. Do, <laughs> that's why we can't do Spider-Man. That's so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. Um, no, uh, me, me and you both got Spider-Man No Way Home tickets, so we are yeah. very, we are both very excited. You, we, uh, me and you, we're seeing it together with a bunch of a group of friends. Uh, the Spill Man, we're gonna see it with him on Spill, a the Spill Man Myth and Legend. Yes, we're gonna see it Saturday. Uh, was it September? No, <laughs> December eighteenth. Mm-hmm. So that's gonna be great. And I'm seeing it again the day. Well, I'm gonna see it the day before. Uh, the seventeenth. So I'm seeing on Thursday and a Saturday. So I'm gonna spoil everything for Darian before the movie. <laughs> before the movie, I told started. him I was like, I don't even want to look at your face on that Friday because I can tell if Toby and Andrew are in it by the way you look. <laughs> uh, well, we're wearing a mask at school. We'll be okay. Yeah, but I'll see your <laughs> eyes, <laughs> and I can tell if you're like happy or not. <laughs> I'll go to school, but I will not. I won't. You talk come to school you. dressed as Spider Man. <laughs> Uh, I might, I might go to school. Or just don't even I know, come. <laughs> I know Thursday I'm wearing like my outfit and stuff. I'm wearing to the premiere here. Um, but you know, me, you're very excited, very excited. Um, we also just saw the. I mean, we'll talk about this more later. But we, we both saw the uh, teaser or first look for Spider Verse, or sorry, into uh, across the Spider Verse mm-hmm. Part One. <laughs> we just saw and, that, and, and we got a little bit of um. Uh, peacemaker, little uh, peacemaker. Actually, there's a lot of peacemaker. Actually, actually, there's three minutes full of peacemaker. Three minutes. I know. Uh, we saw not hate at all. Saw and, Hawkeye. I yes, mean, this is a really good. Right, really good, great uh-huh. week. And um, I think we can, we start with Hawkeye. That'd be a good seg- uh, segue into that. So, um, mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen, spoilers for episode three of Hawkeye, titled Echoes. So. Going into this episode, after the first two, where were your expectations? Um, well, I like the first two episodes a lot, so I'd say somewhat they were pretty high. But uh, I'd say it's probably my favorite episode out of, I agree. The, out of the three so far. Part two was probably the weakest so far as well. Well, um, three three had some really cool stuff in it, like the shot with them in the car. Mm-hmm. I know we saw this like back. I kind of wish they didn't show that honestly because I. Because it honestly makes me wish there was a ride at Disneyland, you know. I would say Disney World, but you it would know, be their least say, profitable ride. I, no. I, I I would ride that like all the time. If they made a ride where you're in the back of the car with Hawkeye and Kate Bishop, they shoot arrows and stuff, and you're looking around in the vehicle, and then they shoot the you know Pim arrow. Like, tell me that wouldn't be cool. And they they fire like crazy stuff. They mm. fire the arrow, huh? Come on. Come Maybe. on. See, I told you. I told you. Yeah. But um, I don't know. It was a really, really good episode. Mm-hmm. Um so let's talk about some of the big stuff in it. Um first off, very first scene, uh where where you see Maya Lopez or Echo in um I wanna it's I'm gonna assume it's just elementary school. But um She's deaf, obviously, as um, we knew. And Mm -hmm. she's in a normal school, and she has no idea what the teacher's saying. She's kind of trying to read lips. And um, I thought that was pretty interesting to see how she was um, living through that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, their, their their escape out of there was really cool. Um, Yeah, I, I was not excited to see Echo. For like the little bit we did, mm-hmm. uh, I always even says a little bit, but like it was it was nice seeing her. You know, kind of, it actually got me kind of, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. And um, um, yeah, I, I also really loved uh, obviously that flashback, mm-hmm. <laughs> that little flat uncle. 
Uncle Ben, mm-hmm. Uncle Ian from Alvin and the Chipmunks. Uncle yeah, oh, Uncle Ian. Uncle Ian. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh my yeah. gosh, that, that's confirmed in the MCU. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they are owned by Fox, and Disney bought Fox. There so you go. <laughs> there we go. We we know we know everything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what he's what he's referring to is there's a scene in the Hawkeye episode where um, Maya is at karate with her dad, and her dad's wearing a tracksuit. I don't know if he's wearing it in that scene. I think he was. Um, mm-hmm. which red flag. And then um he says your uncle's gonna take you home and uncle steps up behind him. Big dude, you can already tell. Uh black mm-hmm. suit, puts his hand on her cheek and laughs, and you immediately know if you've watched Netflix's Daredevil who that is. Yeah. Is Matt Murdoch. No, it's, it's Wilson Fisk Kingpin. It's it's Iron Fist. <laughs> Iron <Hey>. Fist. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Iron Fist. Um, Uncle Danny Rand. Un- Uncle Ian Iron Fist. Yo, <laughs> if we have David Cross as Iron Fist in the MCU, I I would be very happy. <laughs> I'd be all like, heck yeah. Um I was I mean, I, I actually waited to watch this episode until today. Mm. Purely because I knew that scene was in there. I'm all like, man, I'm all, I don't want to wait a whole nother week yeah. for, you know. Uh, yeah, I had to like wait longer to the episode, but I'm willing because apparently Kingpin is supposed to show up in episode four. Because then in credit scene and Vincent D'Onofrio is tweeting weird weird stuff about it. he's constantly retweeting the show, mm-hmm. quoting it. And so, so he, I, I think it's pretty clear he's in there. Yeah, yeah. I heard he's supposed to be bigger and stuff. I'm I'm hyped. I am so hyped. Um, let's go on some more other stuff that in the episode. Obviously, we see Ronan killing. Um. I don't know her dad's name, but Maya's dad. Yeah. Um, that was pretty sad. Yeah. Um, but what I do I did want to point out is um I don't think that was Hawkeye. Mm, I don't listen, 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 let me listen to me. How did he get the Ronin suit and sword and stuff, first of all? Mike that's my question is how did he get how did Clint get that suit and sword first in like the first place? I, don't, I think that Jack the um Pete's stepdad was possibly the first Ronin. And that's why he wanted that suit and sword so bad. Ooh. He's the sword. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. I was thinking about it. I was like maybe um Clinton got the suit from him. Okay. No, I didn't even like consider that. I didn't either until like Maybe I think it was like yesterday. I was sitting there thinking. I was like, "Huh, interesting theory." <laughs> oh, okay. Then he hey, turns out to be Mephisto. No, no, that would. No, I saw Mephisto at that LARP um, thing in the second episode. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, continuing of that. Uh, let's see. So we see that it's more big stuff that happens. Um. A uh, tracksuit dude buys Magic Dragon tickets for his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I know what what a what a lovely thing to do. I buy Imagine Dragon tickets. Um, Imagine Dragon tickets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> that one line where Hawkeye was on the um, unicorn and he was like, "Look at poor little Hawkeye riding Brony." <laughs> 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 yeah. These guys. I need a spinoff. Um. But yeah, we see all kinds of stuff throughout the episode. Um, Hawkeye's hearing aid gets smashed, which leads into some kind of sad scenes later on. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, you really. Uh, yeah, like it's just like I was like, wow. yeah, yeah you tell me like that one scene really got to you of him calling his son. Oh, his son and, uh, I, I, well, yeah, well, yeah, his son calls him. Yeah, and I was just like, wow. yeah, and like I, I know you're really. It didn't give me as much out of thing as you did, but it was really uh it, it was a very uh it, it was a very sad scene to watch, so Yeah. Um and the worst part is he was like, I um what, what did he say? He said, I am so happy to hear your voice. And I was like mm, I was like, No, he can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's true. I mean that's what that's what it's like. Hey, I, I, I need love- to tell him if he can't be home for Christmas. I was like, No. You're gonna be home yeah. for Christmas. They, they will be home for Christmas. Obviously, I think they will be. It'll be. But it'll be one of the, the last. Does. The last episode will be like a whole. 
Home Alone type of thing where he, they're like with rushing Elena. with Elena. And it's just like really the last. I'm, at, I'm just gonna say it right now. Expect the. I'm gonna say the. I'm gonna say the episode before last is gonna be with the Elena. Well, did and you see like, the um, little teaser that we got? Uh, <laughs> there was like a 30 second promo that was released, and it said the biggest surprise is yet to come. And it shows Uncle holding Maya's face, and then it shows a strange masked person in a black outfit goggles. with yes. green that's night vision goggles, too. which yeah, yeah, Elena had in the comics at one point. Yeah, and, that's, that's why Elena. Yeah, and Kate goes, who is that? I'm like, mm. we know. I'm waiting for yeah. that reveal. Uh, we saw Black Widow, you know. That's crazy. Uh, that's, that's, I was crazy. That was our first MCU review on here. Here <laughs> was Black Widow. I can't. I'll talk started off, us. started phase four. We've, well, well, if we, if we, no, that's not true. If we did WandaVision, then it would have been doing phase four. Yeah, I was about to say, like, no, Far From Home did that, but no, phase three. I don't know why that. It's just a phase, it's just said phase four starts with uh, Far From Home, but you know, whatever. Yeah. But anyway, continue. I, I, my opinion, it does. Um, one of my favorite it, scenes in this episode, the Hank, the Pym, yeah. Pym Tech Arrow. That was Great. fantastic. Um, I remember. Uh, I remember we were we were at school, and uh, you're all like, "Oh, Hawkeye spoilers!" And I showed pictures right here. We were looking at them, and we're like, "Oh, it doesn't spoil at all." And I click on the photo, <laughs> and you see him using a pim arrow, and you're all like, "How dare you click on a photo? You got some mad at me, but, you know, whatever." It's not, anyway, it's not continuing on to other good scenes, um, other than the pim tech arrow scene. Let's see. Um, they're on the they're on the train. And, and mm-hmm. Kate's like, oh, maybe we should take out the dog. I don't know how long he should be in there by himself. And then Hawkeye starts talking to her about her being the world's greatest archer. And then they're yeah. just like talking back and forth. All of a sudden, Hawkeye goes, you know, maybe we should take out the dog. Take out and, the dog. And she couldn't hear it all. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, I, I think there's like a lot of comedy there. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know. I really. I really did like this episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, the scene, okay. was, the greatest uh, scene out of the whole episode. I can tell you this. They're in the diner. Dog's there. <laughs> she says, you should really name this dog. And then she goes, she starts naming off all these names. The dog doesn't like them. And it's like such a corny scene, but it's like great. And then she goes, pizza yeah, dog. Yeah, and he yeah, gets yeah. all happy. I was like, yes. <laughs> it's, it's a, it is a dog. Corny, but... Love pizza dog. He's the goodest one-eyed boy. Uh, yeah, I, <laughs> nothing. It's just, I don't know. I, I like, I love that dog. Mm-hmm. He's a uh, hey, uh, what, do, do we know the dog's name? In real life? Yeah. Um, he's, a, he's the best actor we got. <laughs> He's, his, that dog can act. I can tell you that yeah, now. That dog, that dog it puts Robert Downey Jr. in the same. <laughs> like, I don't even know why. Uh, he, well, the dog should have been Iron Man. The dog should have been Iron Man. If you ask me. It's me. Oh, really? Okay. Like, um, by the way, after this, can we please talk about Across the Spider? Who is Iron Man? We will. We will. We're, we're getting to the end of the review. Sorry, sorry. Um, let's see. Any good, end of the episode, you end with them in the penthouse. Um, Clint hears noises and he's going to investigate. Uh, meanwhile, Kate's looking up uh, Maya's brother, Kazi, who in the comics is the clown, but I don't think he is in the show. Mm. Um, but she's researching him. Something about Sloan Limited Company. Um, so, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah we'll find out about that, I guess. Um, let's see. Well, Clint's going to um, investigate. And um, sword gets put up against his neck, and it's Jack. And then the episode ends, and I'm like, "Why? Why did no. you do this? Why did you no, do this? no. <laughs> I know. Well, these right. Disney Plus shows and their cliffhangers. I know they, 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 I swear they want you to watch it. I mean, it works though because I gotta know what happens. I, I need to know what happens. We only have we're halfway through the show already. Yeah, that's that's crazy. I. We don't have it's any more crazy. show. We don't know when the next show is. Next one could yeah. be Moon Knight. I hope it's Moon Knight. I really do. Because there's no way they can have that long gap. Like That's longer than what it was for What If and Hawkeye, I think, right? 
Yeah. Because didn't it say Miss Marvel's in like July or June or something? Yeah, like that? in the summer. So yeah, we have like we'll have like halfway of the, we'll have like three three fourths of December done. Then January, February, March, April. We May. got Peacemaker to review in January. We do got Peacemaker. I am excited about that. But I don't know how many episodes that is though. I'm supposed to be on like a show near it. Like, you know, Disney trying to compete with WB or something like that. Unless there is. They just might not have said anything. But we'll find out maybe in the coming weeks. But let's, um, so. let's move on to rating real quick so we can move on. We got a lot to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, how would you rate Hawkeye episode <sighs> three? Well, we gave the first we gave the one first one an eight and the second one a seven, right? I thought like we gave that. it an eight and eight point five. The first one? <laughs> feel like i won't say i won't say i you probably gave it 8.5 i gave it an 8 and i get yeah, the second I, one we gave the seven yeah seven uh this one this one for me is a. Uh, <sighs> I know i know what it is you know i want to say not i want to say 8.5 or nine i was going for nine you're going for nine i'll, yeah. I'll go for nine i'll go for nine too yeah this is a good episode yeah really not good a, not Okay, ten out of ten is like Avengers Endgame. Or you know, like that's that's the um, we gave it ten. Out was, 10. That's the pedestal that we're holding this to. So based off that, ten out of ten is what if Dark Strange episode? Oh, yes, Disney <laughs> Plus was yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, um, nine and nine. So overall nine. Can't wait for yep. next. Can't wait for next week. But we got a trailer to talk about now. It's Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse Part One. Oh, no, no, hold up. Can we just talk about that title real quick? Hey, mm-hmm. before before we even talk about what we saw in the trailer, Part One. Nobody knew this. No. By the way, when they announced the title, it's just a call across. It's just called Across the Spider-Verse. And when you have the word Part One to it, that means so many things. You know, it's gonna end in a cliffhanger. That means cliffhanger. That means we're conf- confirmation of two movies now. Mm-hmm. And I mean, see, when I saw part one on the um, video title, I was like, like I, part one I, of the trailer. Like what? No, I didn't even read the title. I just saw the logo. First look, I was like, okay. I watched it, and then at the end, it's across the spider, and it pops up. Ooh, part one, and I screamed. I was so so excited. <laughs> and like I, like I don't know, I'm, so, I'm about to like cry. Ah! I, can I can I, again, we re- we rewatch Spider Verse. I'm like, man, this was a really good movie. Movie, <laughs> and and then you have the ending. And I know you were saying Miles looked older there. I, I think um, we don't Here know where that part takes longer. place. So maybe that does take place a bit later. It's the exact same scene from the end of the. Personally. That's what I'm saying. We don't know where that scene takes place though, because that could have been way later. <laughs> so here, oh my gosh, part one. I mean, is there going to be a part three? <laughs> Will there be, no, there's no way. There's no way. But, part two. I mean, in 2023 though. We do not. I mean, that lets, I mean, that lets us know there is three movies or two, two, two movies in production. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be three whole movies of this whole series. Let me see what we do know here. I'm going to look up what we do know about Across the Spider-Verse. I hope there's more. I hope there's more. I here, Across the Spider-Verse, and it came up with, a, with the 2018 film. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, big couple of months for Spider-Man. Agreed. Um... Sony released it at the Brazil CCXP. Um, teaser footage for the movie funds Miles Morales in college and Gwen Stacy jumping from her reality to meet him, played by the amazing Haley Steinfeld. She is doing everything. Like I'm, I guarantee, right now she's working on a Young Avengers project. And we don't even know about it. Another Avengers, yeah, Young Avengers. But don't like Kevin Feige here. <laughs> yeah. Um. Together, they travel to an entirely new world, a new art style for the movie. There's no look at whether Spider-Verse 2 reassembles um, Spider-Ham, played by John Mulaney, Spider-Man Noir, Nicolas Cage, Penny Parker, Kamiko Glenn, and Peter B. Parker, Jake Johnson. But we do get a look at a new face, Spider-Man 2099, who, after being teased in the Into the Spider-Verse post credit scene, will be played by Oscar Isaac, our Moon Knight. 
And by the way, I want to say, and uh, please, if you haven't seen the trailer, please watch it. It's awesome. It's not even a trailer. It's just it's a it's two clips, two clips of the movie. And I just pro- I, I almost want to say they have a bit probably more done. But no, I shouldn't really say that. He probably had like a little bit of groundwork right now. <laughs> he probably had the whole movie finished, I want to say. So, no, no, not the whole movie finished, but they have like all like kind of animations done. Does that make sense? Mm. It's, but they don't have like all the frame rate stuff added in, nor the cell shading. It's all like very clay like. Does that oh, make sense? Well, this says um, right here. According to the official description, the upcoming sequel will transport Brooklyn's full-time friendly neighborhood Spider-Man across the multiverse to join forces with Gwen Stacy and a new team of Spider-People to face off with a villain more powerful than anything they have ever encountered. Mm -hmm. Sony isn't saying who that villain is, although it's possible the movie could draw on the 2014 Spider-Verse comic crossover, which saw this multiverse of Spider-People under attack from Moreland and the Inheritors. Although, whatever the threat is, it appears that it could be contained to just a single film. They couldn't be contained to just a single film. Uh, yeah. Set to hit theaters October 7th, 2022, with part two to set uh, set to follow sometime in 2023. Mm-hmm. I mean, <sighs> yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like so happy. Because, well, more, I mean, it's a, it's a good day. I, you think they'll show that in theaters for a Spoiled Only Hope? Maybe. But I don't know. It doesn't seem like something. I don't think. I, don't I, I, I can tell you right now. Seeing Spider Verse in theaters versus at home is like two completely different things. Did you see the first one in theater? Yeah, I saw the first one in theaters, and literally that opening was like incredible. Like, it felt like you were being like transported <laughs> into like the Spider Verse and stuff. You know, I got kind of scared. I'll be honest. <laughs> honest. It was great though, because this. Well, I think they're going to do with this one. You know how the first one, they all took place in Miles' world, but the Spider-Man were coming there mm-hmm. and stuff? This one is going to be Miles going into their world now. Miles going to the Statue Toy of Liberty Man. in New York City to fight yeah. the Sinister City with Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Please. He's, if, that, if, that was, I mean, if that were the case, that would be kind of cool. cool. But no, we're going to see... Like, you think we're going to see any returning Spider-Man? Or, or Spider Women, or no? I hope we see Spider Ham, but then again, maybe not. Because John Mulaney's going through a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've been hearing that as well. You think if there's if there's one, I would love to see again. And believe it or not, it's not P- it's not Peter B. Parker. It's uh, I like to see Spider Man Noir again. Yeah, yeah. I want to see if he finished that. Re- he did finish the Rubik's Cube. We found out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, I'll be okay if he's just a whole new. Whole new set of characters. I'd be okay with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, who, who would you like to see? I know, I know that's going to be a big thing on Twitter and Instagram. It's like, who, what Spider-Man would you like to see? Um, um, PS4 Spider-Man. PS4 Spider-Man. Everybody's, saying, everybody's making jokes of PS4 Spider-Man showing up in uh, No Way Home. And I don't know if I see a picture, but it was a picture of like, Willem Dafoe like, looking into like the sky and stuff. Puff, and him like, looking like sad or whatever. <laughs> And it says when Spider Man, Green Goblin's, sorry, it says Green Goblin when he sees PS4 Spider Man, their combo, he says the six member, <laughs> no way home. home. And um, oh, I thought it was funny. But you want to see the PS4 Spider Man? That'd be yeah. kind of cool. Eerie. Um, real quick, I have to uh, go just real quick. You continue talking about Spider Verse for just a second. Mm. Okay. Um, Okay, well, perfect timing. Um, I'd say a character I really want to see is um, I would really like to see Japanese Spider-Man. I think that would be really cool. Cool. And um, I, I want him to just go all the way with it. Because um, I want him to bring out the dang Gundam thing. Like, it needs to be like a big surprise. I was like, make it be like Spider-Man. Like, just like regular Spider-Man or whatever. But then at the very end, like the final battle, they need to bring it and just he like brings out the whole Mac suit. And I was all like, oh my god. Like I think that would be a great well for for what a great joke in the movie. And just you know, it'd just be it'd be a really cool scene to see. And um and I I I know in the trailer it looks like Miguel O'Hara is the bad guy, but I think it's more of a misunderstding and stuff. Uh, um, 
uh, like I think I think Spider Gwen and Miles end up kind of screwing up a bit, and Miguel's all like, "No, we can't, we can't have this." This and he ends up trying to like kind of fight Miles a bit, saying like, "Hey, you gotta stop doing this." Miles like, "Yeah, you know, get off me, or you know, get off my back or whatever." So I think that's gonna be like a whole thing about it. Uh, so I think you know I'm very very excited to see more of them. And I'm currently trying to keep going so Derek can get back. Come back, come back, come back. Derek, hey gosh, every time <laughs> I was stalling at that point. Apologies. Like, you know, Apologies. Um, you know, only thing we're saying on here is uh, I'll say I would like to see Japanese Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh-huh. If, if I had to pick one, I would want to be Sp- Japanese Spider Man. And then at like, the very end, he brings out like the whole Gundam suit. And stuff. That, okay, that would be pretty cool. Mm-hmm. And they didn't make like a joke. They're like, "Oh my gosh, he can, do, he can do this." <laughs> yeah. um, and I was also saying, I would love to see. Uh, <laughs> well, I was say I was just mentioning that I would like to see. Uh, well, I'd like to see. I'm saying that Miguel O'Hara is not the bad guy. I think it's just like a whole misunderstanding mm-hmm. thing. Like I think I think Spider Gwen and Miles end up kind of messing around with the Spider Verse and stuff. Yeah, uh, and they end up kind of screwing something up. Uh, so they're all like, and the guy's like, "No, we ain't having this." And he's just he starts going, you know. Mm-hmm. And I think I think that world they're fighting in, by the way, I think that's the twenty ninety nine world. Yeah, it, it's not that like a between universe thing. I agree. Um, yeah, is that all you got to say about Spider and Cross Spider Verse? Um. Yeah. Go watch. I mean, just go watch the trailer. It, it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um. If you could rate this trailer, uh, let's say one out of five. This is a trailer. One out of five. You say one out of five? Yeah. Five being amazing. One or one being completely unwatchable. Oh, okay. You're just saying like a scale of one to five. You're like, I'd give it a one out of five. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> you are. I'd say a five. Five. Four, because I want to see more. Shut up. <laughs> it was perfect. It wasn't long enough for me. No, it, it was literally like two minutes. How long was it? it? It was literally... It was literally two minutes and 30 seconds. And we saw not clips. We saw... Well, we did see clips. But we didn't like see like a trailer clip. We saw like a scene. We saw like two scenes. Mm-hmm. Scenes. We saw interaction and we saw some action. So, and we saw a new suit for Miles, new suit for Gwen. I mean, why is there not the love? Why is it a four? It's because it's a four. I just no, it's not a four. It's a five. I want more. (laughs) One up me. I want a full trailer. Tell me me a six, please. I can't. That's bull. Five point one two five. Man. You're you're a hack, <laughs> man. Whatever. All right. Well, let's continue on with some Marvel. I'm I'm joking. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. I think it's five. <laughs> five does something. Yeah, it's a five. Come on, it's a five. It is a five. Oh, it was perfect, man. And and literally, I think what it is. Hold up. I don't want to make this point. I think what makes it a big five for me is that I didn't know it was part one. I didn't know it was a part. So I think it's just that surprise for me. I didn't even like look at the title. I just saw it. I was like, first look, I was like, okay. So I lost it though. So yes. Yeah. Five. Um, you're going to move on to some news. Uh, yes. All right. Uh, we don't have much Marvel news today, but here's yeah, this. Not, uh, not Disney, Plus, you, Disney Plus has removed Fantastic Four and Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer from their Marvel Legacy Collect section and completely off of Disney Plus. Huh. Uh, I have no idea why. I don't know if I should be happy or sad. <laughs> and, um, but they have Fat Four Stick on there? Yes, I think so. What? Let what? me... What? I'm, I'm doing the research just in case something might have changed. Uh, just remove, Disney Plus just removed two Marvel movies from its uh, platform. The original Fantastic Four movies. Yep. They are gone. That's so weird. I did not know that. Okay. Good thing we did the extra beast when we did. Yeah. Good thing. That's so weird. 
Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at mine now while we while we speak. Yeah, while, while, what do you think? You're just not sure. I'm not. No, no one. No, I don't think anybody is sure. Hmm. That's weird. I mean, you know, could have been a mistake. Could be a mistake. Pa, <laughs> we we will at Disney Plus and ask them no, where no, it no, is. No, no, no. Where is our? <laughs> where is our? Um, you know, Fantastic Four movies. You like? Holy crap! They got Edward Scissorhands on Disney Plus. I, didn't know I guess that. so. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, you know that like different countries have the star thing on Disney Plus. Yeah, they have Free Guy on there and Deadpool too. Yeah, and I like, saw Deadpool. Yeah, Marvel Legacy. Yeah, it is off there. What the heck? No, at least, at least they got three good X Men movies on here. Oh, never mind. They got four of them. First Class, X Men, X Men Two, and Days of Future Past. Mm-hmm. Last Stand, Phoenix, Apocalypse, and Fat Four Sticks suck. Yeah, well, I, I wonder why they took off of it. Even though we didn't really review them. I mean, we reviewed them, what we just didn't really give good reviews. Mm-hmm. This movie was stupid. And I love it. <laughs> so, so I I'm mean, the first one. I don't know about the second one. Second one was a little worse. Yeah, second one's worse, but first one, man. <laughs> First one's crazy. First one's hilarious. Yes. Um, that's yeah, weird. That's I don't that. like that. I don't like that. Right, don't this know. next one. This one might make you a little bit happy. Okay. Um, Kobe Smolders will reportedly reprise her role. Now it's not reportedly. It's been confirmed. Will reprise her role as Maria Hill in Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion. Okay. It makes me a little happier. Um, you know, acting opposite yeah. Ben Mendelsohn as the Skrull Talos and um, Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson. Um, I'm almost 100% sure that every episode that shows an end of the cliffhanger. Because mm. you're going to find out people are scrolls and you're going to find out this. It's like a, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, yeah. Those are going to be really like you think we saw cliffhangers. Those will be like, yeah. yeah so you find you out Nick Fury's a, a, a scroll. Yeah, if, it scroll, like, the whole, if they make Nick Fury scroll like the whole time, I think I think people are gonna get really mad about that. Yeah. What if what if Talos the scroll is a scroll? <laughs> scroll is scroll. Um it says a scroll can't turn into another scroll. They all look different. A scroll could turn into a scroll. I would like I don't know. I <laughs> That's going to, Secret Invasion is going to be interesting because I don't really know what to expect. I mean, I know what to expect. But you I don't know, know Shang-Chi is going to be in for two episodes. Yes, that's going to be cool. Um, <laughs> and then it'd be pretty easy to figure out if that he's a scroll or not because if he has the rings, then he's not a scroll. Because there's no way the yeah. scroll got those rings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, or like, yeah, something like that. Oh, no, that's something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. We just have to look at the rings. Unless they like mention it, he's like, "Oh, I'll put him away for a minute." It's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> and we don't even know if Nick Fury will know who Shang Chi is, unless they meet yeah. at some point before that show comes out. Yeah, the only people that really know Shang Chi is like a care is a character is Wong, and uh, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I was like, is there anyone else we really know? Oh, but no, that's it. So I, yeah, I don't even think Nick Fury even knows who. Uh, song she is so. He like it's just like he said in uh, Far From Home. He said, uh, "What did he say?" He was like, "I used to know everything, and now I come back, and I know nothing." Yeah, it's so. I mean, what what is ha- MCU's kind of in? I think in a weird spot right now. Well, they're rebuilding. That's after. Yeah, the- yeah. It, it feels. Yeah, I don't know. It feels like, gonna, like in the next in the months. next like five six years we're gonna have. The Avengers, and we're gonna have a new team of Avengers, and we'll be. It's gonna be like, man, you remember those good old days back with Iron Man, and all that man. Those were the days. But this stuff's awesome too. <laughs> this is awesome. awesome watching Miss Marvel, well, Captain Marvel, Marvel, and Monica Rambeau as the new Avengers. <laughs> uh, Captain Marvel better die the Marvels, <laughs> but you know whatever. that's a hot take. That, that's not a hot take. <laughs> Nobody likes. All right, watch. well, let's continue the news because we got more to talk about. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a rumor. This is a big rumor, and I think we all know who it's talking about. A popular MCU villain 
will reportedly return as a guide for a young hero in a future Marvel Studios project. Hmm. Um, Agatha and Wanda. <laughs> huh, I wonder who that could be. Unless it's not, then maybe it's like um, <laughs> Kaecilius from Doctor Strange. Kaecilius. Uh, it's the Prowler, and he's going to be the guide for Miles. You think so? No, it's a popular MCU villain. Mm-hmm, um, Loki? I don't know. Um, he's not really a villain anymore. It's, it's not. It's not a villain anymore. I'm waiting for like the next Loki villain, where it's like I was. I hate the MCU doesn't do that that much. They have like a a villain kind of permanently stay. Yeah, well, they're going to be doing that with Kang, so. Yeah, Kang will do that. I'm hoping Doctor Doom gets introduced soon. I guess they they won't kill off Doctor Doom easily. Yeah, there's no way. If they do kill off Doctor Doom, Doctor Doom will be sad. I guess they kind of, you know, they're bringing back Abomination now, which I'm really happy about. Well, but um, I just, I want want more villains with MC, not like a one and done. We have Vulture, so, I mean, so clear, clearly there is still there's more being brought back. Mm-hmm. And so is Red Skull somewhat. So I'm I want it to be all like, oh, I want them to do a Marvel movie where the, it's like the same villain twice. Almost. You know, like people might say that it gets repetitive and it wants to see something new. I like to just see one movie where it, or two movies where it does that, you know? Mm-hmm. He's a villain this one, he's the villain the second one. You know, well, they're guess, doing that with, uh, like I said, with uh, Kang, the villain of the show. After uh, once you found figured it out, was um, he who remains, and then yeah. now we have his um, variant. Yeah, so, so that, that'll help. That'll help a lot. Uh, well, I mean, I'm talking like main series though, like Fantastic Four one. Not, not saying that's what I would want, but I'm just saying for a quick example, Fantastic Four one, Doctor Doom, Fantastic Four two, Doctor Doom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and uh, not that I'm, I don't want. I don't know if I even want Doctor Doom in the first Fantastic Four movie, but you know, but, but I don't know. But but Kang, but seeing Kang in different places will make it cool. Kind of like Thor with Loki and stuff. Loki was in Thor one as the villain, and now he was a he was a, a, a villain in Avengers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's just Agatha and Wanda. Hmm. But you never know. It says yeah, young I hero. And I don't really count her as a young hero. She's been around for a little bit. Yeah, yeah she's been around since 2014. Unless so. you want to count her becoming Scarlet Witch as her just becoming. Good. No, no, she's been a hero since 2014. She didn't really know herself until then, but 2014 sounds all right. All right. Um, all right. Last piece of news. Not really a piece of news, but more like a reveal, sort of. Uh, Tom Holland revealed what the very first opening scene for No Way Home is. And this is not a leak, so I can say it's been officially revealed. Um, but he said that it opens on the exact scene that Far From Home ends with in the after credit scene with him with his hands on his head going, what the? Like, whenever his identity get revealed. Are you telling me there's going to be like an F-bomb? Like I said, <laughs> No Way Home starts. <laughs> Exactly. Oh, just like, no. full on. oh my gosh! Just full on F bombs as the movie starts. But I hope I hope No Way Home ends it with a like what the like scene because both MCU Spider Man movies have ended like that. What if, what if like Kobe Maguire ac- accidentally gets st- like gets stuck there, and they're both like and they both say it or something? No, <laughs> I, don't, I I don't know. I just. I don't, I think it kind of gets kind of old after a while. Yeah. Well, because like at this point, I'm like, oh, okay, they're gonna stay in this one, but like, what are they gonna say? <laughs> you know, like, what's the situation? I guess it's kind of cool because you have to like guess the situation. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Uh, the opening scene is gonna open on the exact same freeze frame. <laughs> that. Oh my gosh. And that is the end of my Marvel news. Yeah. Um, short week. Didn't have much. Yeah. Yeah. You see, we don't really have much uh, DC news either, do we? 
No, we have two pieces of DC news plus the trailer to talk about. Oh, okay. Okay, not bad. So you want to start with the trailer? Yes. Since we kind of already mentioned it? Okay. All right, so um, we saw a Peacemaker trailer. It's our second trailer for Peacemaker. And the first one was a teaser. This is the first official one. It's three minutes long, and it's everything I could have asked for for a trailer uh, mm. for, of this show. Uh, we are introduced to a new hero in this, um, Vigilante, who is in the, Air, the show Arrow, CW show, which I'm currently watching, and he's in it right now, and he's awesome in that. Huge redesign in this. This He looks more like his comic counterpart in this show. Uh-huh. Um, I'm not sure who plays him, but I think it's going to be great, him and Peacemaker being partners. Mm-hmm. And uh, Peacemaker gets a new outfit, it looks like. Yeah, it's more uh it's yeah, like more a bit uh what do you call it? I I guess the helmet looked a bit different. It had like a gap in the top of it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it looked cool. I mean, you know, I mean it looks like the same outfit, but I liked it. Yeah. I love the <laughs> I love the part where he was uh she was like, What's that? He was like, Oh, it's a grenade taped to a, a something what kind of kind of bomb. <laughs> It's like a <laughs> torpedo or something. It's like grenade taped to him. Yeah. And she was like, what I do mean, you need that? He was like, I don't know. I made it in my garage this morning. And then- <laughs> I, I, I love, I love Peacemaker. He is so funny. Have you seen the clip of him in the hospital? Um, with, and that guy comes up to him. He's talking to him. He's like, I need you to trust me. And he was like, he was, he was, or no, he was like, are you trustworthy? And he was like, no, I'm not trustworthy. I'm a janitor. I'm in here mopping floors. I went to MIT. And he was like, then why are you in here as a janitor? He was like, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> and then he says, "If you're a superhero, oh, what superhero are you?" He was like, "A peacemaker." He was like, "Peacemaker." He said, "There's a superhero called Peacemaker," and he was yeah. like, "I am a superhero." He was like, "No, Aquaman's a superhero." And then he goes, <laughs> "Just he goes, screw Aquaman." Screw <laughs> her. I mean, but he does not say screw. We can't say what he said because this is a family oh. friendly show. Yeah, very family. <laughs> very family and family. Yeah, I, I'm excited to see Peacemaker. I, I wonder how the heck are we going to review I don't believe we can review it. We reviewed Suicide Squad. Yeah. Yeah, we did, didn't we? I mean, if it's anything like Suicide Squad, then... Uh, it's made by James Gunn, so is it, well, I guess it will be. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Probably wasn't like a... Uh, what do you call it? A, uh, you know, it's just, you know, he just had luck, I guess. And then he's like, oh, the second one sucks. Yeah. So I think this is more Suicide Squad oh, yeah, 2.5. Yeah. Comes out January 13th. Um, mm. Let's see. Well, they have a mention of the Suicide Squad in that trailer at one point. Uh, but I think she said something about they, they're not together anymore, which is true because um, Bloodshot, Bloodshot, Bloodsport told um, I'm mixing up Valiant and DC here. Um, I'll tell you, too many blood in shots. There's dead shot, death stroke, blood sport, blood shot. Not a lot. Dead shot? Did I say dead shot? Uh, yeah, 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 you said dead shot. Okay. Well, I, mean, now, I mean, now you did. <laughs> so. But, uh, yeah, there's too many. I get confused. But anyway, um, <laughs> there is no team because he told uh, Waller not to contact them. That's when she, right after that, she looked over at all the people out there in the like office and like had that look on her face. I'm like, that also sets up the Peacemaker show because then she sends them on task to get uh, Peacemaker. Which, um, what was his name? Who, whose name? Peacemaker, his real name. That was the actor name. I know it's John Cena, but... Uh, I don't know. really don't remember. I don't remember all of any of their names from Pe- their real names. <laughs> uh, I don't know his real name. Um, oh, by the way, Suicide Squad oh, oh, does it, come back on. Good. Suicide Squad does come back on HBO Max on December twenty third. Yay! <laughs> so um, I will be rewatching that. Oh yeah, I will too. I I I I want I want to give a third go around on this. I'm gonna give it um, way more than three. Oh, how oh, many yeah. episodes? Wait a minute. I might have an episode count for you here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Just two. <sighs> there's one episode. Just kidding. Um, there's eight episodes. Okay, that's okay. nice. How long are the episodes? Um, un- unknown. That sucks. 
That's what so, you know. like series order, um, we got John Cena confirmed to be pricing his role as Peacemaker. Uh, Steve Agee, uh, Age, I don't remember how to say his name. He was in the he was in the Guardians movies. Uh, joined the series as John Economos, which is the guy with the glasses and the beard. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, Retorch, he seems like he's going to be a great character. He was already funny in the first uh, in the movie. Oh yeah, and this yeah. is going to be great. Mm-hmm. Um. He's also returning from the film in November. Gunn's girlfriend Jennifer Holland joined as the Suicide, her, the suicide Squad character Amelia Harcourt, um, which is the blonde girl, alongside yeah. Daniel Brooks as the Yoda Adebayo, who's a new character. Uh, mm. Robert Patrick as Augie Smith, which I think is also a new character, and Chris Conrad as Adrian Chase or the Vigilante, which is who I talked about. Uh, <laughs> Chud, Chuck Woody. Oh, okay, I don't want to. This guy. Uh, I don't want to say his name wrong. <laughs> I think it's better than saying this guy. This guy. Okay, uh, Chuck Woody Awuji. <laughs> <laughs> Has joined the cast. Uh, we're laughing at this guy's name. His name is a cool name. It's just yeah, bad cool pronouncing name. stuff. He joined yeah. as Clemson Mern. Um, okay. Yeah. Wait, in late May, Fred... Oh, okay. Freddie Stroma was cast to replace Conrad, uh, Chris Conrad, as Adrian Chase after Conrad left the series due to creative differences. Mm. Uh, you think we'll get, uh, we'll think we'll see a blood sport in this or another character from the movie? Maybe. I think we'll get, uh, he, I think he's going to be going after blood sport. Okay. Yeah, that's the whole goal of the show. It says, Gunn said Peacemaker was no holds barred in a similar way to the Suicide Squad, but the series is more grounded, quieter, and a little bit more about society than the film. Mm, okay. I did and see he always talks about he's not, he's willing, he, has, he wants peace no matter how many men, women, and children he has to kill to get it, but he wouldn't mm-hmm. kill those kids in that trailer. Yeah. So I think he's starting to grow well, a conscience. Hmm. Oh, also, he, the trailer played be, over. I wonder if that'll be like the whole show, like him, him gaining, uh, him kind of gaining some type of conscience or something. Yeah, and he kind of like he doesn't like it. I just expect the Condiment King show to be made out of this. I want a Condiment King show. show. Um, yeah, but uh, the trailer was played um, in the background, played over um, "Kickstart My Heart" by uh, Motley Crue. Yeah. So I mean that's perfect. That wasn't you would recognize that if you played the Guardians of the Galaxy game. Oh, yeah. I played. Well, um, by the way, uh, everybody go check it out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. Um, all interested to see uh, his pet eagle. I'm pretty sure his name is Eagly. <laughs> yeah, it's Eagly. That's like my. <laughs> that's like my favorite name ever, Eagly. <laughs> Okay, the villain of the show's name is Judo Master. From what I've seen, it's uh, it's a girl in like a green outfit. Kind of reminded me of um, TDK, a detachable kid mm-hmm. outfit. Dude. Um, but yeah, well, if you could rate this trailer out of five, how would you rate it? Uh, out of what, like one out of five? Yeah. Huh, uh, I mean, it's no Spider Verse trailer, but it, it's weird because these trailers don't really get me. I, I noticed something because I'm, and I don't know if it's James Gunfall or whoever, but I don't get excited at all every time I see one of James Gunn's movies trailers. But it's like when I see the movie, I I go see it anyways because I know I love it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Do, you, do you ever feel like that or no? No. I know with Guardians 2, Guardians 1. Well, I guess it's the same thing with me. But like, well, it's not the same thing with me. It's like completely opposite with me and like Kevin Feige. If I see Kevin Feige's name on any movie, if I see Marvel Studios on any movie, I'm going to love it and I will go see it. Yeah. I'm excited every time I see a Marvel Studios trailer. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, I don't know why, because I know I love it. Because of Brightburn, uh, uh, the Suicide Squad and this, I, I don't get excited every time I see a trailer, but I'm going to watch it because I know I love it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And and um and I mean this trailer, I'd give it like a three, because 
because I, I did. I mean, I like the jokes that in there, and I'm, I like, I'm love seeing Peacemaker back and stuff. Uh, but I know when I watch the show, it's gonna be like nods across the board, you know, on each yeah. episode, most likely. I give it. A, I give it a four. Mm-hmm. Give it a four. Okay. I got a one up you. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Just I'll give it a four. Please, That's what please, I was thinking already. Right before you get yours. Just. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but that's our Peacemaker review. Excited for that show. January 13th. Um, one day after a certain episode is being posted that I will talk about in the future. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, HBO Max's Batgirl movie started filming and we know some interesting um, things about it. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a GCPD officer. And just like her father. It's the same badge that we see um if i remember this correctly it's you see the same badge in um something for the flash movie which makes me think that this does take place in that whole universe and it's not just a one-off like thing. okay okay so it's gonna be ben affleck's batman possibly Hmm. What did what did the director say? She was like, "It's the best Batman." Or something like yeah, that. Well, yeah, well, she's wrong, but uh, she did say that. Well, what what did, what did she say? Or he said that actually. Oh. Like, well, what, well, who? What did they say? Did they say like, "Yeah, yeah, the Batman we got is like the best Batman." Yeah, they hmm. said it was the best Batman. I love Ben Affleck. But, I mean, ben Affleck is my favorite live action Batman. Then, mm-hmm. and uh. I mean, honestly, I think he has the potential. I think body wise, he has like the he he could have been the best Batman. I don't, I don't think he's the best, but he's like my favorite. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> sorry, I just saw this thing about um, uh, into the, across Spider Verse. You, li- um, I think you liked it on Twitter. It just was Miles. It says you've been listening to the same song for three yeah. years. Yeah, I like that song. I, I, I chuckled at it. That's funny. That was funny. <laughs> what well, um. But yeah, okay. So uh, yeah, I'm guessing. I guess it is Ben Affleck because you just said that now. So, but uh, I'm actually kind of excited for this. What is it like a TV movie? It's a yeah. It's a HBO Max, Max movie. movie. Okay. So I mean, uh, I mean, we got yeah. Brendan Fraser as Firefly. Yeah. And uh, um, the picture that they put out of the um, clapper, the thing that they used to start seeing. Yeah, you said it was like the Arkham game. The picture had the Arkham bat symbol on it. Yeah. You're telling me this whole thing that was going down that they were going to make a movie in the Arkham universe. Yeah, that was a big rumor. That I was like, maybe this got turned into it, or that, that got turned into this. Yeah, possibly. I mean, I we can't really confirm. And, that. Uh, and J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon coming back. Yeah, I'd be happy to hear that. <laughs> this movie would just be good. Movie. If they're filming it now, um, I'd say 2020. Late 2022, early 2023 release. <laughs> hate to hate to hear that because I I do like Batgirl a whole lot. So, but you know, I'm sure it's gonna be good. I, I mean, I, I hope it. I really do have hope. Yeah, this uh, could. Um, uh, I've, I've read rumors that this might set up the Black Canary movie, which we've heard rumors about. Okay. Okay. With I'll the Green Arrow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we'll see Green Arrow? Or do you think they'll I set up? Green, I just want a Green Arrow movie. Yeah, I want to. They're agree using that. Flash, using Aquaman, using what about Green Arrow? Like, I'd rather see Green Arrow movie than Aquaman movie. If I'm really being honest. Yeah, I, I, I also I would see a Green Arrow movie. Like no joke, if I had to like take characters from like the Justice League, I would like to see as a movie. Green Arrow would like above Superman and Batman. Green Arrow would be like my third. Yeah. Because I think there's a lot, and of I mean they've did they already did great with them in the show Arrow, and that that's only really in first, only in the first season, but you know whatever. Did you ever watch the other seasons? <laughs> yeah, I've got like season two. Did you get to season the... four whenever Damian Dark was the villain? Man, was their first just, villain with magic. I, look, look, I mean, again, you're probably right. I don't know if I can have a full opinion because I didn't see the whole series, exactly. but I watched the two first two seasons, and they literally changed him into Batman, in, like the second one. So is this what he is? He's just Batman with arrows. He's not, no, he's not. Green Arrow is like <laughs> okay, whatever. He's Batman with arrows. 
No, he's, he's not got no Batman. powers. He's rich. He is not ba- he's not Batman with arrows. Arrows. Whatever. Whatever. He's Batman with arrows. Um but yeah, I'm excited for that Batgirl movie. But this next piece of news is something that I've been very excited about after, to talk yeah, about after I found out. And I right? kind of teased you with it at the beginning. Yeah, you won't tell me. Um, so it's very good. <laughs> Titan season five. I dude, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving the car. No. I'm leaving the Zoom. What 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 season five? What did you say? Titan season five. <laughs> oh, no. Doom Patrol oh, season. I was kidding. Um, uh, I'll be, be kind of hyped for that. I'll be kind of hyped for hang on. Too. Let me, um, tell me type this in so I can read it officially. Here we, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> this is reported by the Hollywood Reporter. Um, they say they said during Saturday, during so which is uh, actually yesterday when we're recording this, during the Los Angeles Comic Con, um, that actors Kevin Conroy and John Glover were there. We know John Glover voiced the Riddler in uh, Batman the Animated Series. He also voiced, um, he also played Lionel Luther in Smallville. Okay. Uh, but they have revealed that an audio drama, you know, the um, like podcast type thing you listen to, like a yeah. story, an audio yeah. drama is in the works. That will continue the 1990s Batman the Animated Series with every original actor still alive returning to voice their characters. Even Mark Hamill? Yes. Well, I'm, surpri- I'm surprised about that. Because yeah, I know kind of doing the voice kind of that kind of hurt kind of hurt his uh, vocals a bit, so I'm surprised. Okay. They said it's a great like, script. Glover added the Riddler's back and he's evolved in many ways. He understands he's on the spectrum. Oh, so Riddler is going to major the role. Right, Batman the Animated Series writer Alan Burnett is developing the project. Uh, I hate. Okay, I don't. I don't want to be negative here. I really don't. It's great news. It's great news, and I will be listening definitely. But man, after hearing the announcement of uh, X Men '97 and that like returning to Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish they did like Batman, like you know, nineteen ninety or whatever, you know. And well, they did it's like kind of what digital. this is. It is, but it's in radio form, and I want to see the, I want to see just you know, the best live action Batman movie. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying the best animated, just the best Batman thing in general. I want to say, <laughs> hey, you know. <gasps> Guess who's writing the theme? Oh, don't tell me. Is it uh tell me? Danny Elfman. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, see man, tell me if it was like an awesome animated show. It would be so cool. Yeah, but whatever, whatever. I, uh, I am happy. I, I'm happy read, to hear that though. Yeah, let me read this real quick. Um the panel also featured Will Friedel who voice who starred in Batman Beyond as Terry McGinnis. Um, he was in there, but while it's unknown which cast members might return for the audio drama, even though they said that all the original cast will be returning, um, the surviving actors will include um, include Paul Williams, Plank Penguin, Richard Mole, Two Face, David Warner for Rachel Ghoul, Diane Pershing, Poison Ivy, um, Ad- Adrian Barbeau, Catwoman, Ron Perlman as Clayface, Melissa Gilbert, Barbara Gordon, and Lauren Lester, Dick Grayson slash Nightwing, and obviously your. Um, Arlene Sorkin, I think if she's still alive, and Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill. Who, who has passed? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if I have time to read that. Okay, I was just, I was just, this is a question. <laughs> I don't have time to read that later. I'm like, I was, I was, I was just wondering, just but wondering. We do know there are like multiple Batman audio dramas in the marketplace. Uh, I know, Max has Batman audio cool. adventures. That's why I kind of hate a bit because it, it just, it's like, oh, we're getting another one. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the first thing that came to my head when you first said that. I was like, oh, we're getting this another is, This one? is cool, though. We get Kevin Conroy. This, this is cool. Uh, what we got? What, what are they all called? Batman, we have Audio Batman the Audio Adventures with Jeffrey Wright as Batman. And while Spotify has the upcoming Batman Unburied, starring Winston Duke as the Cape Crusader, with the Dark Knight screenwriter David S. Goyer overseeing the uh, project. And then obviously Marvel has their stuff. Um, but this yeah. is something 
Bruce Tim, the animator behind Batman animated series, is developing a separate animated Batman show with J.J. Abrams yeah, and the Batman, Batman filmmaker Matt Reeves. Gothic that, uh, Crusader, what's it called? Gothic Crusader, yeah. Gothic Crusader, yes. I'm hyped about that. That's going to yep. be good. And that is... What, what's with... um? What was this series called here? Um, you know, I don't, don't know. Okay. I wonder if they'll call it like Batman ninety something. I doubt it. You're just to, you just want them to do something that Marvel's doing. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just that's what I'm saying because this is an X Men. I wonder if they'll call it something very similar. Hey, I'm getting we're getting Riddler in this. Yeah, like a more I'm just Rid- excited. I know you're. I know you're a big Riddler fan. Um, I, I've grown to really love him over the years, so I'm I'm happy. You say, like, I, you know, I gotta what? plug a YouTube channel real quick. You know why? <laughs> why? Because the Batman's coming out, that's why they're making Riddler more important. True, but Riddler's like exactly he's great. But I want yeah, to plug a YouTube channel real quick. Um, Variant Comics is the name of the YouTube channel, and they he, it's a guy and he reviews he, he like not reviews he goes over like origins of heroes and like something that happened to comic and he talks about the full story. I just watched one of the origin of the Riddler, and he talks about um, different like issues that'd be good to read about it. And all the different origins that he has, and how Rid- the main origin was that he was like a nobody in school, and um, he was like he cheated on some kind of like test in school, and it made him realize that. Um, and he also used to ask questions a lot, apparently in school, and he'd never get an answer. People were always annoyed by him. And one of the lines I saw that he said in the comic uh, was that he was like. I'm determined to get these answers any way I can, even if I have to make up the questions. I'm like, that's such oh. a Riddler thing. I mean, that is such a Riddler thing. I want to see. That's how I learned about that Harvey Kent thing. It was by that I guy's YouTube channel. Oh, really? Okay. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I never heard of him, but I'll take your word for it. So go go check him out. Yeah, I was recommended him by the Spillman. Oh, Spillman. okay. Go uh, go check out Spider-Man as well. I heard that guy has pretty good stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all um, the DC stuff I have. Yeah, that's actually I, I, that's pretty good. Really good news for both sides, actually. So you know, great great week for them. We need to get on the gaming now because we got some stuff to talk about. Yes. Um, yes. Luckily, first off, we have plenty of time. So first off, Avengers okay. Marketplace. Um, the Thor in game. Outfit, uh, it's fourteen hundred credits. The Kate Bishop Young Avenger outfit is nine hundred. Black Panther Shadow Physics outfit is seven hundred. Captain America's Got to Keep the Plate Spinning takedown is six hundred. Black Panther's This Shall Not Stand takedown six hundred. Black Panther's A Wakanda Never Kneels takedown six hundred. The Black Panther Perch emote five hundred. But Captain America Workout emote five hundred. Thor Better Than Franklin's Kite takedown three hundred. I love that takedown, by the way. Mm-hmm, yeah. Um, yeah. All on sale, by the way. I want to yeah. say those, those Thor emotes and uh, takedown is all on sale. Mm-hmm. Uh, Thor lightning rod emote, 250. And Thor hanging around emote, two, 125. Um, and all of Spider-Man's crap <laughs> for the PlayStation. And then um, the free Marvel Studios Hawkeye nameplate. Cool, cool. And... Um, um, well, I do want to point. I do want to get this like, a one tiny little piece of news real quick before we move on to reviewing Spider Man and Avengers. Yeah. Um, speaking of Spider Man in a game, um, Fortnite. Here we go. Everyone just clicked oh, yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Um, here we go. We're only reporting this because we do report the gaming superhero news, and this is some kind of news. Um, recently, and Landon told me he was he, we he was he meant to mention it. Um, they put Nick Fury in Fortnite a couple weeks ago. Mm-hmm. They're always doing Marvel collabs. They're I guess they're good friends with them. Yeah, um, but Spider Man is going to be in the next season of that game, <laughs> and we're going to have to buy it and play it. Together. He's got the symbiote <laughs> suit. And he's got the Future <laughs> Foundation <laughs> suit. And... Uh, we're going to play it, and we're going to play Fortnite's fun. Fortnite is fun, but when you hear all the when you literally shoot somebody and they build a whole freaking skyscraper just so they won't die, it gets annoying pretty quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> but it's it's fun. Yeah. It, but- it, my play. Just wanted to add out there that Spider Man is on his way. Um, mm-hmm. should, would it, he'll probably be out by the time this 
um, episode releases. Mm-hmm. Doctor Strange is also coming to the game, from what I've been hearing. So uh, buy your battle passes, buy your give, give us your money. I mean, I don't know why I say that, and yeah, I support Avengers. So uh, yeah, everybody wants your money. Hey, we just like supporting small indie owned companies. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, very, very indie like, not very heard of. Um, yeah, let's review Spider Man and Marvel's Avengers because I got some stuff to say. Oh, yeah, some crap you're not gonna say because I'm I want to get all the crap. I'm trying to get a voice for all Marvel's Avengers, okay? I don't know who, <laughs> I'll get somebody. Um, so here, yeah, can I do have some stuff to say too? I got wait, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> we need to. <laughs> Pick one word that you can use to describe this addition to the game, and we're going to say it at the same time. Okay. All right, so you got your word? Yeah. All right, I'm going to count down. Three, two, one. Underwhelming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, fantastic. No, like, um, I think, I'll be honest, I think some people were, like, way too hard on it. Yeah. <laughs> On it, like I don't think it does. Like that one guy, he said it was like a four. I'm like, I don't know about that, man. Uh, like I can see f- like five, the lowest, like just average, you know. Um, and I don't understand why people were all like, how can we do a good story? I'm like, he, he's an exclusive character mm-hmm. for one. You know what I'm saying? And and you get the cool cutscene in the beginning, you get some story with Liz and stuff, and you know. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I enjoyed for what it was. Um, mostly, mostly I want news. To play in oh, oh, Peter Parker is finally heading to college in Spider-Man: No Way Home. Confirms Tom Holland. Yes, you need to watch that video because they have like a villains panel, and it's pretty cool to see uh, Willem Dafoe and. Uh, okay, I'll watch. I'll watch. I'll do that after we're done with here. All right, we we'll continue about the. Um, it's. I, mostly, well, I, I kind of, I mean, they said this a while back, so I don't know why people were shocked when they said it again. And, but I'm, I'm mostly just excited. I was just excited to play Spider Man. Like, like, this was like the one character I wanted to play as out of anybody, of course. And um, I was, I was happy to play as him. So I, and I like his combat. I know you were saying it was kind of clunky in the beginning, which I do agree. It is. But when you get the upgrades and stuff, it makes it way better. Better. But <laughs> can we just talk about the web swinging for a minute here? Yeah. <laughs> um, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I, 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 I don't, yeah, I don't think it's bad, but it's not good either. It's somewhere in the middle. Because I think, well, I don't think it's bad at all. It's just because everybody was talking about the invisible ceiling mm. at the top. And I'm all like, oh, you know, I ain't going to deal with that. I'm just going to swing kind of low and just enjoy myself. But man, <sighs> they need to raise that up like really high. You know, I know at the time they're all like, well, you know, the consoles and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, make that like an exclusive update to like the PC. Uh, PS4 or sorry, PS5 and Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to do an exclusive character on one console. Why not? Why not do a exclusive? Uh, I mean, they, they can do exclusive updates. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So do do please do an update where you raise the invisible the the, the invisible ceiling up like <laughs> I don't know, ten, like another another yard or something you know what i'm saying just make it higher you know yeah so that, that's all i have to say with that um yeah. i'm gonna so read a review yeah. real quick of this well never mind because this is not what i thought it was oh <laughs> uh, well, well here how about you say your word on it all right well <clears throat> let me get ready I was excited for Spider-Man to come out. And um, I was very much looking forward to it. We talked about it on the podcast a lot. Um, mm-hmm. And he came out, and I was not able to play um, as him for the first few days. It was busy. Um, I got to him, I want to say Thursday. No, maybe Wednesday. I don't remember. But um, I think it was Wednesday. And first thing I did... 
Um, I got him and walking around the uh, helicarrier. I was like, this is awesome. Mm-hmm. And then uh, but one thing that did bug me, I was like, I don't like the suit. You but, don't like the classic suit? Well, the one that he has, I don't like the spider and the eyes. Oh, That's the only thing I don't up. like. About. Shut up. The only thing I don't like about. That's perfect. What are you? That's Ditko. That is like. Maybe Ditko. I don't like the Ditko yeah. design. But I'll be honest. I will say this though. I don't care for the voice. Oh no, not that. No, I, I feel really, I feel really bad. You just gave me something else to complain about. Yeah, I know. He did. I know. Good point. Hey, I got more man. stuff to complain about. <laughs> I just, I know you do. I'm just kind of breaking. I'm just, you know, not trying to take a big shotgun to the face here for a minute here. Here, like, here's the thing. I, I don't like the. <laughs> oh, my. No, I'm sorry. I saw something on Twitter. I got, I'm going to send you later. Either. Um. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Sorry, I, I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, like I don't know the voice. I'm, I feel bad because the guy, the guy is doing his best, and he was tweeting out how much. I know it's like very, you know, everyone does this, but he was tweeting how much he loves Spider Man and stuff, and he said like, yeah, the art is might come off across a little awkward, but like, hey, Peter's an awkward kid, you know, so it kind of it really fits. Mm-hmm. And I know if I was that if if I was doing this voice, you see know, I I would put a bunch of heart and soul into it. But I I like I'm sorry, it just it doesn't really work, you yeah. know. Oh, it, it sounds so. <laughs> I, like this is as bad as Web of Shadows, Spider Man. <laughs> yeah, have, have you ever seen clips of Web of Shadows or whatever? No. Peter Parker's voice is like so whiny in that game. Game, and then like now you hear it here, it sounds kind of like he sounds like a really like a little kid. I know Peter's a young guy, but still, he's supposed to be in his like twenties. So it just it doesn't really sound. I think they could have gotten some. They should have gotten like Josh Keaton or something for this role. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. someone who used to play the role and stuff. So you know, but here, well, what, what's another one of your complaints? All right, going back to the timeline of what I was doing. Uh, first thing you're told to do is go to the harm room. Uh huh. And so I go to the harm room, and this is where it goes downhill. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> Start off okay. It was kind of from the first start. You're told to um, do a point, do a point launch, sure. Point launch, it's yeah. Like like they jump and grapple onto like the edge. Yeah, and I did that. And when he when he, I was like, oh, this is awesome. And then right when he like got to the edge and he, oh my god, there, it are you, are you so awkward. Why does it look? I, I literally did it right in front of you during it live gameplay. You're very all like, uncomfortable. Oh, it looks okay there, man. Whatever, whatever. That like, I don't agree with. I don't agree with that. It looked, and then, and then it was like, all right, time to web swing. I was like, okay. And then I started, it, and at first it was like, all right. And then after about the second web swing, I was like, nope. <laughs> no, I. I was like, it, it is. is it. I saw people talk about they're like it's hard not to think about the PS4 game. That's very and, true. And I was and I was reading that my like, man, that's so stupid. I'm not even going to even consider it. You know, I didn't think it was going to be as good as it or anything. If not, and, and I knew it was not going to be better. But I was like, it's going to be decent. And then I was thinking, and then he has like moves that are very similar to the game. And like, man, that feels way. That feels like so much better than like Miles Morales and PS4. <laughs> Like look at the points and everything. So I, I agree with that, but I I don't know how to explain it. I the point launch is actually not that bad. And mm. and obviously the PS4 game is better, but and the web swing and obviously the PS4 game is better. Web swing is okay. Just because I still have fun with it. Like while we were playing last night as we were recording this this um it was it was fun, you know. You were me and Cap fighting. I was swinging around, webbing enemies. It was cool. Mm-hmm. So, but I do agree. The web swing is very we- weird sometimes because some like it goes back and forth with me. Because there are times where it feels good. I'm like, okay, you know, kind of getting the hang of it, kind of going. And then when I try to do some stuff like how I do in the PS4 game, 
Hey, it just it comes out as like super awkward. Like like don't you dare try to web swing and then try to go into like a wall run or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? Cause it just it just either it doesn't work or either it just looks awkward. And especially like jumping off in the middle of a wall run, it looks weird. So yeah. I can say um one thing that I didn't like at first and it didn't get a little bit better, and I'm still warming up to it, is his combat. His combat, when I first played it, was very awkward, very, like, s- slow feeling. Mm-hmm. Compared to, like, Black Panther, which is the last hero we yeah. got. Yeah. Um, I think that... Sp- I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a great, huge fan. I don't think it lived up to the expectations that it was set to. I, I agree with that. I agree with that perfectly. Because uh, I, you know, I did like most things about it. I agree. I had way. I one. I wish they had better suits in the store. Like where the heck's the new war suit? That's true. As we as we are recording this, we have not found the new war suit. And we, I was like, oh, it's probably gonna show up in this this Thursday's thing. No, <laughs> it's not there. It's the suits there, but it's all the recolors of the suit. So yeah. it's super weird that it's not there. And I'm, I'm surprised they didn't do more of Spider Man's comic book. Uh, they did do. I did buy two outfits though. I bought a uh, wrestler outfit, which you saw me wore. Mm-hmm. And I wore the Mark One Iron, Iron, Iron or Spider Armor suit. And I'm wondering, and I was really questioning. I'm like, how come they don't have um any? I, like, I thought they would have an MCU suit like day one, like not like No Way Home, but like Homecoming or Far From Home or something. Yeah. I know they have a suit there. Symbiote suit, I'm surprised they didn't have day one. Mm. Uh, Iron Spider suit, not from the movies, but like comic book, I'm surprised that wasn't there. Um, it's it's super weird how they don't do that, but they do these really weird original suits. I, like, they did a bunch of recolors colors for... Uh, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember what suit it was. I want, I want to say it was the Mark One Iron Spider suit, mm-hmm. and it did. Or sorry, Spider Armor suit, and it just did not look good. It didn't look good at all. Like, like I think what they should have done is just for Spider Man, no recolors, just suits. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just think I'd be better. Like, you know, been a really cool suit for them to do. I'm kind of waiting for them to do this. I want them to do. I want them to do bombastic bag man. So I really wanted them to do that. I think I would. I could really see. I could see them doing that. Um, but you know what thing? If I had to say one thing, I absolutely hate about Spider Man is it's his uh, challenge card. I hate yeah. it so much. Yeah, I don't. I, bought it. I, I don't hate that. I bought it. I hate. I bought it. On it, I honestly hate. I bought it because I wasn't even, like thinking what was in it. I'm like, I don't care. I'm gonna love it either way. But man, all it is is just recolors. There's one suit you get in the beginning, which is cool. Well, I saw the first one, the first slide. I was like, oh, if it's like this, this is awesome. Because it came with a good suit. It came with a Bugle Boy suit, which is like my second favorite in the game. Same. Same for Spider-Man. It came with a Bugle Boy suit, a takedown. I knew there was only like one takedown in the challenge card. You know, yeah. some units, you know. Everything credits, just all that. I'm like, okay, nameplates, all that. Just yeah, you know, all the whole no. pizzazz. Now, well, um, real quick, when was Spider Man first announced for this game? Was it when the game was tra- yeah. first trailer was shown? The uh, first trailer. I want to say, um, yeah, yeah, I want say it was around when the first gameplay was shown. I want to say like a couple weeks after that. I know it was before when the game released. And I know we had to like wait a good while. Oh, uh, I want to say it was actually in the summer. Yeah, it was sometime after E3. E3 was when the trailer was revealed for Avengers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they were all like, like oh yeah, you're going to have to wait for him early next year. I was like, oh, I can't, oh, that's going to suck. But then like COVID happened. And November stuff. 4th, wait, no. That's not it. That's released it. I know when the first trailer August was. August 3rd of 2020. Yeah, so, yeah. So that sounds, that sounds about right. I, I remember watching that show. It was awesome. So, so we saw that, and 
and, and we had to wait a good. I don't. I think. I think if we didn't have to wait that long, it wouldn't have been as bad. But like we were waiting forever. We were waiting a whole year. No, we were waiting longer. Actually, we we're waiting for like whole. T- we we're waiting for like two years for this. Mm-hmm. And it, co- it comes out like somewhat like okay. <laughs> see, see, you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I got. You, I you don't know my. F- the only part I really liked about. <laughs> Spider Man in, in like addition to the game that wasn't the comics, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it wasn't really. no, uh, it's just the way the uh, like home screen looks, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I would have been hanging that's there, they're problem. like, okay, that's cool. Everything I'll, else, I'll, eh. yeah, everything else is okay. Well, uh, for me, it's good, okay, and awful. And unfortunately, it, everything is mostly on okay than anything. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, I mean, kind of tough. It actually kind of makes me upset because I was really excited. And I'm still happy. I, I played, I got him to power level 150. You know if you're feeling down across the Spider Verse. <laughs> uh, okay. That makes me happy. <laughs> like, <laughs> but we have like, no way home tickets. Yeah, we do have no way home tickets. I'm very excited. And by the way, I thought about us doing this. Right, I'm gonna say this real quick online. Live streaming before we watch the movie in the theater. Yeah. I <laughs> thought about I thought about us documenting us going to the a theater. Vlog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, like, welcome to Combo Burrito Vlog Channel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it'd be like a little bit. It's like, hey, you know, just woke up. You know, from this day, we're going to see Spider-Man Way Home. And we see like the drive to the theater, and what our thoughts will be on the movie, we and then th- like. You yeah. think I am? <laughs> Casey just, yeah, nice that? I'm just saying, I think it'd be kind of cool, but you know, whatever. Don't listen to a good idea guy here. You know, whatever. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you know what? I'm putting that a poll. You guys are going to vote. <laughs> I see, yeah, yeah, find out if we do that or not. Do Y'all like a Spider No Way Home vlog. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. Don't we'll tell see. me. Don't, don't act like that would be a trash idea. It'd be awesome. It's not a bad idea. It's just. Yeah. Why? <laughs> It'd be cool. No, okay. well, I, I, I like the idea. Movie. I like the idea. It's right. It's a once a lifetime movie. I like the idea. But um <laughs> we need to get to rating Spider Man um whatever the, the DLC <laughs> is called. Oh god. It's Spider Man with great power. <laughs> well, I know what I'll say though, with great power comes great disappointment. Shut up. <laughs> Man, there's a special place for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Like, it's like, it's, it's, I mean, uh, yeah, it, it's a bit disappointing, but I, I still had somewhat fun with it. So I'm not, I know I was kind of hard on it there for a minute there, but I still had fun with it. Uh, what would so, you rate yeah. it out of 10? Out of 10, here you go first. <laughs> a four. Oh god. Also, no, it is not a four. There's no there's no way it's a four. It's a five at least. It's a five. It's a four. Oh my okay. I'm gonna say Ugh Crap. Okay. So why is it why did you say a four? You know, I didn't even get me started five. on the I'm, web shooting. But only I didn't forget to talk about that. What are you talking? You, I literally told you if you upgrade it, it like goes faster. I don't care if it goes faster. It's still it's oh. whatever. <laughs> That's it. This is the last episode I'm doing with you. I know you know how I feel whenever you make fun of Star Girl and see that be Arrow and stuff. Ugh, and, this and suck. Black Panther oh. and everything. So Spider Man in this game. So are you seriously mad at me? I don't like Black Panther. I'm disappointed because that movie's great. I dis- that, that movie is disappointing. Anyways, I'm gonna say, oh crap! I, I'm stuck. I, I you know what? To, I need to like rip the. I like the Eternals better than this Spider-Man DLC. That's some bull crap, dude. I like. Tell this me, sit down, th- sit down, think. Shut Tell up. me, you didn't like Eternals more than no? I you've like enjoyed the Spider-Man thing so far. I like this way more than Eternals because um, one of the characters wasn't dumb. Well, maybe. Well, actually, no, I don't know if I should say that now. But, like, I like these characters more than freaking... Why are that? The guy I'm not saying so Avengers. Stupid. I'm talking about just, like, the Spider-Man-like addition yeah. to the game in general. Yeah, I like Spider-Man DLC more than freaking Eternals. 
Well, that was false news. It's not, it's not <laughs> no. false news. It's not fake nor false news. It's like literally, <laughs> literally, he, not Helios. Welcome What's to the Combo Burrito starting the beef. My name's <laughs> starting the beef. Like, literally, what's his name? What's his name? Hey, the, the smart one. What's his name? A lot of smart ones. It's the, yeah, but you know the smart one, the smart. You know, don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. He's just, he's just kind of make fun of Fastos, yeah. He literally, he's all like, "I ain't gonna help y'all save the planet. I gotta take on my family." I'm like, bro, your your family is on the planet, moron. Aren't like, <laughs> well, no, he's saying like, "I'm not gonna help you. I'm gonna stay with my family." And yeah, you guys yeah. are capable of doing it yourself. Well, his, no, well, his family. Man, don't defend this movie. Don't I don't defend, defend movie. that movie because it's not be, a bad rep. I will give. I will give it. Spider- I still Spider-Man gave it a six point five. I'll give it a nine. <laughs> if you don't say, if you, if you don't say that, that was a stupid decision. You give what a nine? I, I will give. I will give Spider-Man DLC a nine. If you don't, if you do not say. Hey, I'm not. I'm not affecting your score. You can give what score you want. <laughs> oh my god! I still Here, stay like, at my four. I'll stay at my six point five for eternal. I'm gonna have to get you to rip this band-aid off with me. Cause I don't know whether they see say six or five. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it, okay. Ugh, I don't know why I can't say it. I can't not give a Spider-Man thing such a bad review. Or not bad, but like a D, like an okay review. I mean six ain't bad. Five's average, six is above average. Six okay. is the same thing that you rated Eternals. <sighs> no. Yeah, but that's like a movie. This is a game. <laughs> Different thing. It's like a, it's like a movie, though. Okay, Eternals is five. Spider-Man is you six. You can't lower Eternals. We've passed the threshold of lowering that movie. We've good. lowered it too many times. <laughs> I've lowered it. To, I, yeah, but we, I didn't make the announcement while I was lowering it, too, until like, one podcast. And you kind of kept quiet about it. You know, and I was like, yeah, I had to call you out. I'm like, oh, by the way, Darren lowered his score. For six. That was, man, we're going to rate way home bad. We're, we're going to, you, you rate that movie bad, I will kill you. <laughs> I, will, we, I will make sure we never get Kevin Foggy on here. I will okay, make wait, sure. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you rate that movie bad. I will make sure we never get wait, Kevin no, Foggy. No, 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 you want Kevin Foggy on here. <laughs> So I do want him on here, but I'll get Sam Kevin Smith on here. I'll get God no. I don't want to have a He Man argument on here. Yeah. That's what I'm watching. Yeah. I, if, no, you bet you don't. <laughs> okay, well, one. this has gone on for long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Extra be free he did. He did. We 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 both we did think about doing that, but extra be free he did, but we'll 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 discuss that later. Yeah, but, but I'm also kinda like <laughs> Stressed out with all the amount of stuff we already have going, even though we only have two shows. We'll we'll, we'll not do an extra beef one week, and then we'll do. I'd like to skip one. every other week for extra beef, but. No, start like start next year. I'll, I'll be okay doing that. Oh, well, you heard it here. <laughs> we, well, we'll we'll discuss it. We'll discuss it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Uh, unless we're missing something with. <laughs> I miss it with Wolverine. No, oh, probably not. Spider Man. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'd say maybe possible chance at Game Awards, but I, w- I would highly doubt. doubt oh, no, hey, next week, this is some good news for gaming, possibly. Uh, next week is the Game Awards, so possibly a Marvel thing announcement there. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, are we going to ever <laughs> update on Midnight Suns? Or probably not. It got okay. delayed in- indefinitely, I think. No, it did it. Really. I know it got delayed like later, twenty twenty two. Oh, maybe, maybe. I thought. I swear, well, it, it got delayed. Well, it got it got delayed indefinitely <laughs> next year. So, so you think we'll get another trailer, uh, Game Awards, or what, what do you think Marvel thing we'll see at Game Awards if we do see anything at all, or, or do you think we're just not going to see anything? Uh, I, I'm on the side. I don't think we're going to see anything. I want to, unless it's like, I, well, um, okay. What, what's the pipe dream? What's a pipe dream we want to see? I want Ed Boon to walk out oh, and sorry. reveal either That's Injustice totally. Three or Marvel a Marvel fighting game. Oh, okay, I mean, had, Injustice like, Three would be the next logical thing to do. Okay, okay. I mean, you had like a because then idea. that would mean we get more comics. <laughs> okay. Um, I want Ed Boon to walk out. 
and uh, Marvel versus DC fighting game. I want Ed Boon to walk out with a bunch of valiant comics in his hand and start naming each no, one of them is a different no. hero, and he starts naming off characters in an upcoming fighting game. That'd be awesome. Um. Okay. Here, here, here. I do want to say this though. Okay. It, it, this is literally the pipe pipe dream. Right. <laughs> Hear me out. Uh, uh, Jeff, Jeff Keeley goes out. He's all like, "Yeah, this um, this game has had a bunch of fan, a bunch of fan outcry for it to make a return." And, and then he's all like, "I'm happy to show off a new, a new, uh, you know, brand new trailer. You know, it's gonna be awesome for everyone, or whatever." Yeah. Everyone's like, "What? What is this?" And then a trailer pops up, and you see Wolverine walking through, walking through like some darker or whatever, ever. And then all of a sudden, you see Reed show up, and they shake hands, and then bam, Marvel versus Capcom two, uh, you know, announcement coming to PS five, and Xbox Series X, and you know, PS four and everything, and Switch, PC. Like, come on. Possibly. This person yeah. just said they want Snoop Dogg to play Galactus. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be down for that. Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal? No. LeBron James. Terry Crews. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Terry Crews to play Galactus. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's all. That, I mean, that's why I want to see that game. I, if I just say I want to see uh, get some of that game awards, it's Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I already said what I wanted with that um, Injustice 3. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to talk about. Yeah, I got really nothing else to... <laughs> Sorry, it's late. <laughs> it is one thirty in the morning. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. We're ready we, to go. We are dedicated to y'all. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to talk about. So I guess we'll go ahead and read in it off. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, thank you all so much for listening uh, today. Whenever you're uh, hearing this, if you're watching it, listening to it on Spotify or Apple Podcasts on Sunday 5th or um, on Monday the 6th on uh, YouTube, uh, the an upcoming episode of Into the Spider-Verse is going to uh, be the comic burrito Into the Spider-Verse Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. And um, I wish there was a smaller title. <laughs> very, very, very large one, but we're all good. But um, I'm going to be releasing that tomorrow. Um, mm. So Sunday the 5th, same day you're hearing this, it should be out. Mm. And then the upcoming Wednesday, we'll be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming. We're on the final stretch. Um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit. Yeah, um, but that's what's going on there. If you um, haven't listened to last week's episode, um, it was good. We talked about stuff that you'll hear once you <laughs> listen to the episode. <laughs> yeah. And, um, also, last week's episode of the In the Spider Verse, where we reviewed the Amazing Spider Man Two. Mm. Uh. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Um, if you have any questions, comments, corrections, or concerns, you can contact me on Instagram at DarienH4404. That's D-A-R-I-E-N-H-4404. Or on Facebook at the Comp Burrito O'Colon official page. Very interactive over there. I'm posting the poll to see if y'all want us to do a vlog for Spider-Man No Way Home. And um, also on Twitter, at the CB Burrito, capital C, capital B, capital B, and Burrito. Yeah, and you can t- contact me at Spider underscore Land on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And uh, you can also contact us on our. Um, you probably said you already say our official Twitter page. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> making sure. But um, our official Instagram page at the Combo Burrito. That's more of a notification type of deal. But me and Darian both recommend Twitter and Facebook. Because you have better interactions, to better everything. Yeah, and with that being said, 
we're getting out of here because we're tired. Oh, yeah. Very. I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you all so much for joining us. See you in the mm. next one. Bye, guys. Yeah. See y'all. Excelsior.